blocking my ears. Fuck, what was that? What's that? Suicide, witchcraft and murder await the team in Somerset. I'm convinced I just saw something. most haunted. The building behind me is said to be one of the most haunted pubs in Great Britain. Poltergeist activity, apparitions and phantoms. We just had to come and investigate the Chuff Hotel in Somerset. Located on the main high street in the town of Chard, this historic hotel is named after a type of crow that usually inhabits Britain's coastal regions. The building dates back to the 16th century and even survived a fire that swept through the town in 1578. It has housed a rich tapestry of geysers, playing host to both useful innocence as well as sordid debauchery. With over 400 years of tales to tell, its walls have also stood witness to the West Country's bloodiest battle. It's got a very, very interesting history. The main part, to be honest with you, is 1685 and the Battle of Sedgemoor. It was then that Judge Jeffreys came down here and conducted the bloody assizes. And there is a definite report of 12 men from Chard that were tried at the old courthouse down the road from here. And those 12 men were hanged, as were probably 300 men of Somerset, many of them tortured beforehand, some of them hanged, drawn and quartered in great agony, some of them hanged at the side of the crossroads. It was also for a time a school, so obviously we're going to hear children, and it was reputedly a brothel. Who knows how many different atrocities have been carried out here in this building. Um, when we first moved in, our youngest daughter used to play in her bedroom and we couldn't figure out why she was playing hide-and-seek by herself. And she'd just say with a friend or imaginary friend or whatever, but she wouldn't actually tell us that it was a friend or an imaginary friend. We just sort of looked around and there was no-one there, but she was definitely playing. Um, quite often they'd, they'd go off on their own and be talking by the south and you just, there was no-one there. The ghost of a girl called Elizabeth has been seen walking across this room. She's said to also play with some of the children that live here. Apparently she killed herself in 1845 by drinking poison and she didn't want to end up being a prostitute like her mother and sister. Shannon, our eldest, um, wouldn't go down our back stairs, which leads to another room, um, because she said that she saw somebody there with a sword. There is a report in one of the bedrooms that someone was stabbed to death, a man. And on many occasions, people sleeping in that room have seen a dark shape hovering in the corner of the room, moving across the room towards the foot of the bed. I'm sure that's going to be one of the rooms that we'll be doing vigils in tonight. I was in the office one evening, locking up, and a man appeared in the doorway and just didn't seem to really want to disappear. I stood there for what felt like a long time. Just hear bangs as if sort of when people walk into things and you might hear like cracks or you could be anything, but it's just not nice. So it's an interesting place to say the least. One or two places I'm not too keen on, the attic as usual. An old man was hanged in here, and ever since then, the image of his body has been seen hanging from the rafters. Also, violent poltergeist activity occurs in the attic. Light bulbs explode, and things move around and make a noise when no one's here. I'd never go in the attic. It's because people I know have been in there, and it's just, they've said things that have happened are just horrid.
The bar area is the most active place in the inn, where two male apparitions have been seen here and also by the pool table, along with the ghostly images of an elderly couple. We've had people walking behind the bar, um, which we couldn't really see, but you could sense them, hear the footsteps. Didn't really have any explanations for it. Had um, people appearing in doorways and then just disappearing. I saw somebody stood at the bar when I was here after I'd finished work. Um, quite a nasty looking gentleman. There's something going on here. Um, not quite sure what, but I do think there is something. It's also said that the infamous Judge Jeffries resided here during the Assizes. Could it be his ghostly image that's been seen standing by this fireplace? We have 24 hours to find out. For a long time, I've wanted to invite a renowned skeptic along on an investigation. Our guest for the night is Most Haunted Live presenter, Dr. David Bull. So what are you expecting to happen tonight? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Possibly nothing. Hmm. Um, I'm expecting a lot of drama from one or two of the mediums. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But I expect them to be saying, oh, I can feel. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Um, whether there's any resemblance to any fact in there, I don't know. Um, so I don't know. I have no idea. I think the only difference for me is that instead of watching you on a lovely screen by a roaring fire, <laughs> I'm actually going to be in the middle of it tonight. So I'm, I wouldn't say I'm nervous. I'm, there's, I have a level of anxiety. Whether there is any real reasoning behind David's apprehension is yet to be proved, and the rest of the crew were equally excited and scared at what the night may hold for us. We've invited psychic Derek Akora to the building for his guidance on just who does reside at the Chuffs Hotel. I am led to that bar. This uh, spirit energy of a man, a bit of a prankster. I wouldn't be at all surprised whether either um, bottles, glasses that would be in this area would be shifted, moved, placed down. But, you know, he wouldn't be of malice. He wouldn't break the, the, the things. Who is that person? Can you give me that again, please? I feel he's a high official. A lord, and his name is Geoffrey. Mm -hmm. Derek felt drawn towards the opposite end of the bar room, and particularly the fireplace, the scene of several ghostly sightings. Okay. Most definitely his energy manifests here. I can even sense the residual energy from him. Um, come on. George, what? You, you said that, that to me earlier on. What does that mean? Yes. George was responsible, responsible for meeting something, meeting justice or meeting out justice. OK, say it again. Make it nice and clear for me. George Jeffrey, mm -hmm. George Jeffries. Mm -hmm. George Jeffries, his manifestation with his energies is here in visitation. Who was he then? Who was he, Sam? George is responsible for meeting out justice for souls who were put to slaughter. Were put to slaughter. And is the, he a good man or a bad man? He thought he was I feel he thought he was a good man. But he's not. He's not. And his energies uh, depict that he's not. And he's um if anything, I'd say it's got an evil side to him. Could this presence belong to the hated hanging Judge George Jeffries? And how long will we have to wait before he reveals his true nature? I'm convinced I just saw something. What's that? <laughs> Thank you.
Our visit to the Chuffs Hotel with our guest David Ball has already indicated the presence of a George Jeffries.